week, the roadshow's back in Belfast for a second helping. There's plenty to keep our teams occupied. We were last in town 21 years ago. And looking at the queue, it should be a busy day. <laughs> to the Belfast Chamber of Commerce. Is it still Why are you watching this? I just think it's interesting. All these antiques got a lot of history. In 1898 by Gustav Wolf. He was... If you want history, go to a museum. Yeah, but, you know, it's only certain stuff there. And at the end of his term of office as president, he presented... You know, junk shop. If you go to a junk shop or antique shop, you've got loads of stuff, but... Museums, it's all like paradox, and it? it's all glamorised. Wait, 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 don't have a go at museums. I'm not, I'm just saying they're, they're exploiting history in a way. But I bet you, if I went out there and asked people if they prefer museums or junk shops, they'd be champion the museum. Well, maybe we should do it. Yeah, yeah, a lot of research. Yeah. Put a fiver on it. Sportsman bet. I don't know what that means. Just were three ships that belonged to a line that was financed by his uncle. So maybe that's one of the reasons we get that way a bit. We're here at the British Museum. We're outside what is quite clearly a large and expensive building. Now the exhibits inside are old and a lot of them cost a lot of money to keep running. Well, not necessarily running, but to keep. We're going to ask some people what they think about it and whether they think it's still worth it today. We're unable to get permission to film inside the museum, which means unfortunately we're stuck outside. So it might look a little bit samey, but we'll see what we can do. There's certain artifacts and relics that have been passed down through generations that should be kept alive and should be in the public awareness. Uh... Well, I think the museums are not that important. Well, I think they're critical because it's the only way we can really get to see anything about our heritage, the heritage of our of our life, our world, our country, other people's countries. For the connaissance, j'aime bien voir les diverses. I think that museums are quite important today because things that we have heard of, or perhaps like you know things that we like would think that we would want to see, um, museums provide things like that, artifacts and like you know historical background that perhaps we might not know in daily life, but would come handy to us. Very important, you need yeah. history alone. Very important. To find out about the past. Uh, museums are public space, whereas uh, antique shops kind of like a commercial enterprise. Uh, museums are free, which is really important. Um, there's probably a wider range of, um, of things to see, the different exhibits obviously, that are, they're just really good, everything's really well preserved. Well, clearly a museum, I think, serves a more education, cultural purpose for the, for the majority than an antique shop, which is probably a commercial enterprise that may be beyond the reach of many people. Well, I think perhaps you feel a little bit more at ease in a museum than you would in an antique shop unless you had enough money to buy all their things. <laughs> you get a far bigger you get a far bigger range of things in a museum, I would imagine. Yes. Well, the difference between a museum, of course, is it's organised. Uh, it's somewhere that you can go here for free, although you should always give a, a contribution. And in an antique shop, of course, it's a place where you buy antiques. Here, it's free. I think with museums, they give you more inside information than an antique shop. I think you just go in and you sort of see, but I don't think neither do you have any background information or I think it holds no relevance to people. Yeah. It's going all right now. But it doesn't seem that people seem to like um, antique shops that much. Everyone's, everyone's championing the museum and it's starting to get my underdog supportive side going. Well, here we are at the uh, junk shop in Greenwich. As you can see, lots of objects. Kind of like a museum. But, except you can touch this stuff and buy it. Let's have a look around. Between a museum and this shop, well, this shop has um, a recycling value where things come in and then they get sold and plus we have much smaller treasures yeah. and more varied treasures. You think the history is stronger though than like museum's history? Things? What, what, what's 
stronger in here? Yeah, like the items, you think their history is a lot stronger, like, than the museum's history on display. Um, more personal, maybe. Yeah, there's that definitely. It's more, it's knickknacks and more personalised mm. things. The sort of things which I can come across could be anything from obviously like grandfather clocks and things like that. Okay. Or old English furniture. Th this is a Second World War aeroplane uh, which crashed. Got some history to it as well. Um, you, can, you can tell straight away from the shape of the propeller yeah. blade that uh, that was probably spinning as it went down. Things like the two headed cows, and these are things I collect a bit myself, yeah? And there's bits of skeleton, there's mummified cats. I found a lot of these cats. There's another one behind you up there. There's another mummified cat up there. There's another one up the top there. Or a cat right up there. Yeah, it's the side of a, again, Second World War aeroplane, which was an American plane, I think, then sold onto the Russians. This is the Russian paint, the colour of the actual, uh, it would have been all painted that colour. This is a cannon uh, where a shell has hit it, which brought it down. Uh, the biggest difference, obviously, is what I have is for sale. Yeah. And you've got a glimpse of my workshop, which is my personal bits, which yeah. makes it more like a museum. Um, uh, then again, museums specialise. You know, you have one specialising in e Egyptology or, yeah. you know, uh, other ones specialising in African art, like Hallman's Museum. Uh, so they specialise. Okay. I sell everything from African art to, to anything, yeah. you, know, to, you know, to artefacts from the Second World War, First World War. Two, two grandfather clocks, two... So I, I, you can come to my shop, and depending where I bought stuff and what's turned up, you could come across anything at all. Mm. Anything. Uh, right, so after all of that, <coughs> what do you reckon is more important? No, nah, they're both the same, aren't they? Just museums have more power, but it doesn't matter. Was that a dick? Was that a dig at museum? No. After you said they're the same? No. And now and now, now you're trying to play the underdog card. They're both the same. No, 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 I'm not having this. I'm not having this because we, I think they're better than I think you're. Well, I've been jumped right back. Yeah, no.